Hey everyone, welcome to Space Engineers. Adam here. Uh, I've been playing this game for a while now, and I've kind of wanted to do a uh, a quick let's play of it. So let's see here. What is this scenario? I don't want to do a scenario. Let's do a custom world, and we will do asteroids because that's the one I like. So basically, there's for those of you who don't know, which I assume most people probably do, um, this is pretty much do I want to do a dangerous yeah we'll we'll put some asteroids on I want to go with infinite normal density auto save that's all good mods let's see what mods we got um so basically uh this is sort of it's not really like Minecraft but it's a, a survival game where you uh you have uh various resources that you need to gather there's stuff you can build out of components out of those resources so uh we'll we'll get to the point where we actually see how all that stuff works i'm trying to look at my mods here and see which ones i actually want uh i guess we'll take that we'll take that and access door i like uh you know there's quite a few good mods for this and i'm going to try playing with direct x 11 to see how well direct direct x 11 gets along with uh Perhaps I don't really know how that's going to go, so we'll see. And I guess we'll add the mess hall pack because it's kind of nice to have a mess hall. And I definitely want the letters. I don't think I want that. We'll call that good. And let's go ahead and go into advanced. Uh, we're going to leave inventory size on realistic, but I am going to turn uh, refine. I'm going to turn welding speed in this up because it's just kind of annoying. And we'll leave everything else as it is. Now, the reason that I want to leave the uh, the speed, uh, the the inventory size like that, is because first of all, the inventory gets ridiculously large and silly for a character uh, if you turn up the inventory size too much. And then on top of it, it kind of discourages you from having any reason to build ships. Like uh, you, there's ships you can build that can weld things, and um, it kind of eliminates a lot of the need for that if you play uh, using too big of an inventory size so I like to keep the inventory kind of small that way it gives me more reason to have to build larger cargo containers it gives me more reason to have to build uh, various kinds of ships all right so let's actually try to see what we got going here we got some kind of nasty looking asteroids I don't know if I like these I like to find one that has a little hollow spot generally is what I want to find to build my base. How much oxygen does this ship have on board, I wonder? It does have an oxygen generator, I believe. Um, trying to see if there's anything I really want to head to. DirectX 11 makes everything very bright. It's weird. All right, let's go ahead and turn off inertial dampers. And we'll just coast on over that way. And uh, I don't know why, but I have a good feeling about the asteroid that we're heading to, so... We'll see what's up with that. Wow, it is a lot louder inside of this ship than it is outside. I gotta turn down my turn down my headset there. I don't know how the audio mix for the video is gonna work, but crazy. So the maximum speed you can travel is 104.4 meters, I believe, uh, per second, and uh, it, it, you don't have to continue thrusting. So it is re realistic in that way. We can just kind of coast on the uh, momentum that we've already built up here. Uh, there's a lot of different starting scenarios you can do. This is the one that I usually do because you got a tiny little ship that has basically everything you need. Um, it's not easy, but it's not ridiculous. Like There are easy start ones where you have a whole base and everything already going. So I wanted to have a little bit more of a challenge than that. Uh, this game is still in early access, so they update it every week. I think it's on Thursdays they update it. There's a really good modding community for this game. Um, but there's just a lot of cool stuff. They, they also make a game called um, Medieval Engineers, which I have not played, but it's kind of similar, except of course you're on a planet instead of space. So to me that makes it less interesting because space is way cooler than medieval stuff, but you know, it is what it is. These are some pretty far away asteroids that we're heading to. My goodness. But um, Generally, especially since we have the uh, meteor showers on, I want to try to find, to start with, uh, something that's inside of an asteroid, because I don't have turrets. Turrets can shoot down asteroids that are coming in, but um, there will occasionally be 
asteroids that will be striking us. Uh, well, not asteroids, they're meteorites. I guess they're not really meteorites because I thought meteorites had to hit a planet, but I don't know. There's these little meteors and they will screw your day up if you're not careful. So I do want to try to locate a secure place inside. The two most important resources to find right away are going to be uranium and ice so that we can have uh, power from the uranium. And then uh, oxygen gets generated from ice. Uh, iron is usually pretty easy to find. We are going to need a lot of that as well, but uh, it's generally not a big deal to find iron. So not super concerned about that. And you can just build space stations out in the middle of nothing. There's no gravity right now. Uh, well, there is artificial gravity, and there's going to be actual... If you see there, it says actual gravity, artificial gravity. There's going to be, like, uh, planets introduced to this game at some point soon. And uh, so there'll be gravity in that. But um, we don't have to worry about it right now. I'm going to start slowing down because I don't know how well... No, the ship's pretty good. Eight minutes of fuel when we're actually firing and everything. That's kind of scary. So hopefully there's uranium ideally in this asteroid that we're arriving at, or at least on one of the nearby ones. I haven't played with DirectX 11 enabled, and I'm not sure how much I like it. Things kind of look... I mean, they look better, but kind of weird, too. Do I have lights on this to ship? know that the ship does have any lights well it is hella dark in here but we should be safe from the horrors of the uh... no the ship's all jacked up oh, I don't have anything set up in my little hot bar here and of course I've forgotten how to do everything because I haven't played in a while is it? it's another it's a G I think it's G yeah I don't know why it's being kind of laggy there that's weird uh, character tools. There's a certain order I like things to be in. I don't use the, uh, additional menus as much as I probably should, but I just kind of want to, like, spruce this up so it's not all messed up to the same degree. I think I might go back to DirectX, uh, 9. We'll see how this goes. But is that uranium? That sure looks like uranium right there. That would be pretty sweet if we found uranium right off the bat. Um, it is uranium. Good. And I'm just going to do a little flyby out here to just take a look at what we're dealing with with this asteroid. Because uh, I didn't see any ice, unfortunately. I don't know how much we have on board the ship. Uh, that, that military... I think it says mine layer. That is... Uh, an NPC ship. There's no actual NPC characters, but there are NPC ships, and uh, we can capture those. That's generally one of my main strategies is to go build little fighters and capture stuff because you get a lot of re free resources that way. Some pretty expensive stuff from some of those ships too. All right, so that didn't really ease my concerns about the ice situation at all. There were like little asteroids nearby too. I do kind of want to. Where were those? It's always a little hard to tell how far away things actually are, of course, in space. Like, those are all pretty darn far away. Those are probably pretty far away. I thought there was, like, a little cluster of them right near here. I swear there was. That one's probably not actually that far away, because it's moving kind of quick with relation to the background. How much air do I have? Eh. Well, I think what we'll do to start, there's there's iron and there's uranium here. I want to go check how much oxygen I actually have available with this thing. No, I don't want to turn the jetpack off. I haven't played in a little while, so getting used to stuff. I don't like how the glass looks either with the Direct X11. I have to think about that. Anyway, oxygen generator. We got kind of a lot of ice on board. That will last quite a long time. So. I think the immediate concern, this thing has a gravity generator, so generally what people do is they kind of shimmy the ship over to where you are, you're going to be mining, and park right above it. So I think that's probably what we'll do. The first order, what is, oh, that's just space. I was going to say, the first order of business is going to be to make sure we have enough uranium refining so that we're 
in good shape for a while. I'm always paranoid about running out of power, because power is life. If you run out of power, you're dead, pretty much, so let's go ahead and, of course, it's all ridiculously dark. I can't see where the uranium was because there's no light on this ship, so that's super cool. Is there really no light on this ship? Well, that might be the first order of business to put a light on this stupid ship. Oh, God, what just happened? God damn it. I died already because of the random glitchy door thing. Whatever. I don't think I had anything on my body, did I? No, just tools. Get out of here. Eh. I can't, I can't push it. I'm kind of stuck. There we go. Wow, well, it gets, the difference between being in the ship and out of the ship is ridiculous in terms of what I can see. Is that all just... No, it's not even the light doing that. It must be the glass. There's no glass. I don't know what the difference... That's weird. I actually don't understand that. So anyway, where is that uranium? It is down and behind. So it's like the ship is facing forward. We need to look down... I don't know how I'm going to maneuver this, because, like I said, I really can't see when I'm piloting the ship for some reason. I wonder how the 3D view is. I mean, the uh, third-person view, rather. Yeah, look at that. I guess it is just the window doing that. It's kind of insane. Uh, yeah, I can see a lot better here. Cool. Probably easier to pilot this this way. Anyway, there goes my body flying off in the distance there. That's kind of funny. The bodies are always kind of funny. Now, where is... There's that uranium vein. So, uh, the gravity fields in this extend beyond the deck of the ship. So, it makes it a lot easier to mine if you get kind of lowered down. Because uh, it can be really hard to catch all the material that you're mining if, uh, if you uh, don't have gravity helping you. And... Eventually, pretty soon, we're going to be building a mining ship, which makes life a lot easier, but I don't believe I have the resources for that right now. Oh, I crashed a little bit. That's great. Hopefully, we didn't destroy anything important. Let's go try to see what we actually did there. God, those doors are so hard to get in and out of. It doesn't look like anything super important happened back here, so I didn't damage that. And it doesn't look like anything's even missing, so... Cool, whatever. Uh, I want to look at my inventory, I suppose, and try to figure out what we actually have on board. We have a tiny bit of uranium, and that is it. So we're going to need iron and lots of it, and uranium and lots of it. Uranium looks so weird. So I'm just going to pretty much go around like this and have the gravity field. Oh, we're outside of the gravity field. The ship's gravity field isn't even turned up high enough. That's great. I want to go turn that up. I should be able to control it from here, I think. Control panel, gravity generator. Um, field height is, I think, what I want to adjust here. So let's turn it up to like 40 meters. It's going to use more power, but yep, there we go. And your inventory fills up ludicrously fast on this mode. So I think what I'm going to do is put the tools that I'm not using in this connector. And then I'm going to start the uranium refining. So I don't know how much uranium exactly I'm going to collect here. Not a ton. This is going to be my home base asteroid probably, so I generally don't do a ridiculous amount of mining out of my home base. Where did all that uranium... Oh, there's the uranium. I it's very hard to see which ones are the chunks. It's very shiny and weird looking and... I've played this game so much on DirectX 9 that the 10 just looks weird to me. So I probably will not be salvaging this ship anytime soon. Usually I do kind of like to uh, take components off the, sh the, the respawn ship. We will do that at some point, but until we start getting some basics up and running... I will not do that. This is why people play with the higher inventory, because it really is kind of annoying how often your inventory fills up, but at the same time, I like the extra challenge and realism. I cannot, for the life of me, see the uranium chunks, though. I'm 
probably gonna call this good with the uranium in a second here. You know, there's we've mined quite a bit here. So I think that's all the chunks that are free. No, there's another chunk there. And that uranium is weird looking. And that's probably good. So let's go ahead and deposit that as well. And then we're gonna tackle some iron. Because my main priority here is going to be getting a mining ship operational um, so that things are a little less annoying to mine. Let's go ahead and head back inside, try to not die. Going to heal up real quick here. This does not refill my oxygen because it's not hooked into the thing, so that's great too. Well, we have enough oxygen for now. Okay, so... Let's move up a little bit. This camera angle is not doing me any favors. I think I want to... Where do I want to get this iron from? Trying to find a spot that looks relatively easy to park the ship because there's a lot of little outcroppings and stuff here. And I don't want to actually smash anything. I was lucky that nothing broke before because I don't really have the materials to fix anything if it does break, so... How close are we on that side? There are like cameras and stuff so you can do this stuff um, a little more realistically, see what you're doing, but obviously we don't have any of that stuff going right now. I've never really liked the cameras that much. Third person view doesn't bother me that much. Some people don't like to use a third person view. Alright, so are we still in the gravity field? Yes we are, okay. So uh, we're going to build a small mining ship, obviously, to start, because small, simple things cost a lot less resources. Holy hell, man. But uh, definitely going to prioritize that, and then it's going to be like pretty much getting an arc refineries going in an actual base and all that stuff. We'll have to scout a location to do that. So I'm going to just keep mining here for a little bit, and I'll be back when we actually start building a small ship. So, things are refining. I think it's going to take a while. I turned off the gravity generator because I'm done mining for now. So this is going to just take a while. I'm going to get the uh, iron going first so we can get some iron blocks going. Uh, we're going to start building some of our first uh, resources here. So I'm just going to build like a couple hundred steel plates to get started. Uh, I know for a fact we're going to need some glass, but we don't have everything we need for that. We need to find silicone somewhere. Um, construction components cost what? Just iron? We'll put like a hundred of them, get them started. I know we're going to need some steel tubes, so we'll do like... Yeah, we'll do like ten of them. Actually, let's cancel the construction components. We'll do like fifty construction components, and then like thirty small steel tubes. That's a pretty good start to everything getting built. Uh, let's go ahead and... Even though it's going to hurt my uh, availability for carrying stuff, let's go ahead and grab. That's just a conveyor hook. I was 
Doesn't really matter. I think everything's hooked up with conveyors in here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab one of these so we have some oxygen and head outside and just try to see what's going on. I don't really want to move the ship. I should probably use the GPS thing because mark where this ship is because it doesn't have a transponder or anything on board. So um, let's go ahead and go to this. We will create new from current position. And that's probably all fine and dandy. I don't really care what the name is. Let's head outside and try to see if there's an asteroid close enough by that I might be able to fly with just my jetpack. Is that an asteroid eclipsing the sun? It kind of looks like it is. Kind of weird. Um, I didn't charge up my power either. Maybe we will have to take the ship out. That one's not super far away. Let's just see how long it takes to fly there. Because we need to find some silicone pretty bad. If it takes more than a little bit here, we'll stop and head back. It doesn't look like it's going to be that bad. Yeah, that's not too bad of a flight. So that's why I want to have the inventory restriction on. So you don't just end up doing stuff like this. Because it's kind of cheating. Now, that is an ugly asteroid. Looks like a little, like, spore. The random asteroid generation in this game is pretty cool, but it's kind of odd sometimes, too. What is this? That's silver. Platinum. Ice. That's good to know. Let's remember this one's here. Let's go mark the... Uh, yeah, we're going to mark. put another GPS marker here. New from current position, and we will call this one Ice, so that I know where that is. I could really use some silicone. It's probably right in front of my face somewhere. What is this? It doesn't feel like telling you. Huh. It's probably more platinum, I would assume. That looks like kind of icy. I don't know. That's almost definitely ice. Damn it. I need silicone to make glass. I don't even remember what silicone looks like exactly. How are we doing for energy? Not too bad. Probably should head back soon. What is this? Is this just rock? What are you? Stone. Damn it. This does not look like stone here. It's probably just silver, which is kind of pointless at the moment. There's some rocks floating away. What are you? Stone. Everything looks so different. That's stone too. Sure as heck is. That's great. Well, I guess the next part of our adventure then, I think I'm going to end it here for today, is going to be going on a magical adventure to try to find... Yep, that's stone, alright. Magical adventure to try to find some... Uh silicone somewhere i guess we can get started on the the ship without the silicone and just but i'm gonna need motors and stuff too there's really just no i need nickel and i'm gonna need that uh, this asteroid kind of sucks it doesn't have i like the ones that have like the there's a big grouping over there we're gonna head over there i think is what we're gonna do so i'm gonna set course for that asteroid over there and in the next episode we'll go explore over there and see what we can find i'll probably do the journey off screen because i'm just gonna be flying boringly but i want to thank you guys for watching if you like this please leave a like and i will catch you next time